everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Hold Your Own, where I've been working my butt off, and these crops, some of them are already done. Check this out, guys. Potatoes are done. Carrots are done, which means the ones up there, up top, are finished as well. Now, I don't, now these are berries. I forgot I had berry seeds, so I planted like a whole bunch of berry seeds. So we're going to be able to make juice, I think, in the future. And the corn's not quite done. This is a second half of corn. I found some more when I went out and looted. And this, this is the first batch of corn here. It's not quite done yet. I'm thinking by tomorrow morning it might be. We're going to hang on with that, though, because I actually have everything to put together that I need for the electric stove. Okay. So I got all the aluminum plate. It's 12 aluminum plate, 15 steel plate, 25 screws, 25 copper wire. I have more than enough. I just need to learn it. I went out and I had to go kill some baddies because I needed another level. So let's go ahead and we're going to do the electric stove right here and learn it. Boom. There it is. Okay. Electric stove is completed. Now I can make one. There it is. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. All right. I also went ahead and I, and I made some foundations right here. Let's go ahead and throw some foundations down right quick. I think I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go out a little bit further. It looks like people are saying that they've gone from island to island with these foundations. I don't know if it's true, but I don't know why they would tell me that, uh, tell me that if it wasn't true. So there's that. Got that one. Oh, yeah, it looks like we can go out as far as we want. And so it is that shipyard that was causing the issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out one more. And then what I want to do is I want to put the shipyard at the end of this. Okay? We're going to go ahead and I'm, so I'm going to let's go ahead and get my bow in my hand, I guess. We're going to go ahead and take this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to destroy the shipyard. Hopefully that doesn't destroy my boat. I don't know why it would. But you should be getting all of your materials back when you delete something. Please empty contents before destroying. Oh, okay. Wood planks. I didn't know I had that in there. All right, so. That should give me back all my materials, I think. It gave me back some materials. So let's make another shipyard right quick. Go with, with placeables. Building. Where's the shipyard at? I forgot where, I, where it was originally. Okay, it's in the saw bench. So go like this, put all this stuff in here. Shipyard. Craft it. All right. So that way I, I can still recall my boat if I have any issues. Like if I die somewhere else where there, where I don't have a bed, I don't think that'll happen to me. Uh, now that I've, you know, I've, I, I've kind of learned my lesson with dying. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. We've got two, almost three minutes on that. Now that we don't have a shipyard down, I can extend this other one out as well. So let's go ahead and put that. I want to put this one out too. I might have to move my boat. I think I am going to have to move the boat. But fortunately, guys, we have, whoops, we have, look at this. Ba -ba -da -da, boom. 59 minutes and 11 seconds with two gas cans to spare. I'm super happy about that. Let's go ahead and let's go do this. And we're going to go. Actually, I can go and I can just, we can spin this sucker around. I can get it to spin around, that is. And then I can just go, I can just drive the boat right in here. Like, I think this will be. It should be good enough, I think. Let's see. Hit P, E. Um, not quite close enough. Close. Make sure that I'm not running an engine here. By the way, somebody asked me, they said, uh, you should see if the stove uses any gas when it's not running or when it's running. So we're going to check that out in a second. All right. So that's, that's good there. And now I can put down a couple more foundations right here. Put one right here. And then put one right here. And for those of you saying, I need your 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 planks to line up, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Some of these planks are just not gonna line up. I'm not gonna destroy stuff to make it line up. So sorry guys. 
for all you OCDers out there, I I I feel the same way, but I'm 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 kind of over it. I'm I'm kind of over getting uh, doing the OCD thing. All right, so now we're we're starting to build out, and that's great, because what I really want to do here is I want to go ahead and put some more crop plots down, and it's just going to be right in the center. We're going to go boom, 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 boom. As I get the garbage, I don't have any. I don't have enough garbage to do that, so I don't have enough spoilage. We have I have all the water I need, and of course, fiber is easy to get, right? But perished food. I need more perished food before I can make another crop plot. So that's, that's yeah, that's a thing. So let's see what we got here. Are we done yet? We got 30 seconds. All right, we're going to hang on for 30 seconds. The electric stove will be ready. I'll be able to see the recipes. I'm getting super excited. All right, electric stove is done. Let's go ahead and put her down. Yeah, boy. Okay, so I guess I'll put it, where am I going to put it? Right here? Put it right here for now. There we go. Electric stove, open her up. All right, so we got five different things. We have cooked crocodile, which is 50 protein. That's really good, actually. Canned stew. All right, so cook crocodile or just crocodile? I have plenty of crocodile, too. So we're actually going to cook that up in a minute. Canned stew, which doesn't really do much for us. And that's what you need bacon and you need meat. Oh, that's flavorful. Eggs in a can. Okay, probably won't be doing much of that, I don't think. Uh, fish cans, which will increase my carbohydrates and my protein, plus one when consumed. i got to figure out how to fish, and that's a mystery to me right now. Meat stew... Uh, what? What is this? You know, you need milk. I thought it was juice. I was like, you need milk. All right. So it looks like I'm going to have to build one of the cow uh, shelters or one of the cow barns here before too long. So because I'm going to need to make that meat stew. I mean, I, so I need milk and I need a bacon and I need a raw meat and I need eggs. So really, if I get if I learn, I'm going to need to learn all of these. Let me show you see what you got. I already had it prepared, but I don't have the points. Like, I, I made a bunch of nails, and I have a bunch of planks. Oh, here, this is done. We can put that shipyard down. Uh, but the chicken coop, 34 planks, 24 nails. Cow barn, 60 planks, 40 nails. Pig hut, 50 planks, 34 nails. I have everything for to do all three of those, but I need three levels to do it. Because you got to learn them, and I haven't learned them yet. So, I'm going to put this down here. Why can I not do this? X. Oh, there it is. All right, we'll build that. I don't plan on going any further out over there, so that's fine. Yeah, that's good. We're fine like that. All right, so shipyard's down again. And, okay, let's see what we got. Vegetable stew, guys. Veg veggie stew, which is going to allow me to do one health and one stamina as well. So, actually, both of these are fine. So, if I don't want to do meat, I can do veggie. And I've got all the vegetables already made up, right? Two carrots, two corn, two potatoes. And one bottled water. The problem is the bottled water, but versus the milk. So, what does it take to make milk, though? Can I? I mean, is it? Do I just get milk, or do I have to actually make it in the, in one of these? That's juice. So, milk is just going to come out in a box, straight out of the cow's udder into a box. Is that what I'm understanding? It's boxed milk with a straw, right from the cow's udder. That's so weird. Okay, well, that's fine though. So actually, if I once I get those three, once I get my farm going, like not my garden, but my farm, I'm going to be able to, I should be able to just make meat stew with no problem, like once per day or something. I'm making a bunch of magnesium too, guys, a bunch, uh, like 700 ma magnesium powder. So I'm going to be selling magnesium powder because I already have a whole bunch of gunpowder made up. Where is it? I don't have my weapons bench yet, but I have 675 gunpowder. I say a bunch, but I don't know that it's actually all that much. So we'll see how that goes. I don't really, I don't really use my pistol at all. So it, when I start using the sniper rifle, it'll be different. Is this done? Turn that off. What am I wasting that for? It's so weird. Oh, I had that grilled meat because I got to eat. Because I don't have anything else. But we're getting away from all this uh, single protein, single carbohydrate thing. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we are. Because... We definitely got, I definitely have to start looking to the future. There we go. Go ahead and put this empty jar in here. All right, so I, let's go ahead and let's harvest up all of these potatoes right quick. Oh, it's getting later. Three, four. Oh, I only get one a piece, but I get two seeds every time. So I'm not too disappointed over that. We'll probably end up making seeds out of all the carrots. Let's do that. 
We're gonna make all the we're gonna make seeds out of all the carrots. Let's do this. And let's make seeds out of all the potatoes as well. Okay, so let's go see carrot seeds. Three of those. Potato sprouts. All of those. So it's gonna be a minute before I'm gonna be able to do anything with this. So let's go upstairs right quick and let's go grab the rest of let's do the carrots and potatoes from there. I want all That's a cat. Hang on. He's stuck. That's cool. I'll take free meat. Uh, I had to make a new a new knife too and a new bow because they were worn out. I've been using them since the beginning of the game. All right, let me close this up. I really hope that I get a bunch of baddies. I mean, I you know I was you know I'm nervous about baddies, but I've I've got 68 bandages. I'm getting better at the long shots, and I'm definitely good at the quick bow, quick bow shots. So, like I can drop an animal pretty quick, but you got to be more precise with the headshots because, well, you know, Don't you cross me. There he is. God dang it. He shot me twice and then ran away. What's wrong with my bow, dude? I'm not, of, I'm not out of arrows. How am I out of arrows, dude? I made 50 freaking arrows. Hang on. You know what? I'm going to kill him with my, with my pistol. Screw that. I have 50 arrows. How'd that, how, did I burn through all those arrows? Oh, I'm going to die. I hate this pistol, man. I really do. God dang it, man. What the heck? How am I out of arrows, man? That's not even cool. Hang on a second. We got to make more arrows. I had when I started this morning this afternoon I had 50 some odd arrows. I burned through them all, I guess. Maybe I put them in a storage area. I may have put them in a storage area. That's what I think I did. Arrows. That'll be 20 arrows. That'll be enough to do some some stuff with. But in the meantime, reload, make sure you're reloaded. Wow, that was rough. All right, so we have all these potatoes. Wow, that's a lot of XP really fast. I mean, not a lot. It's a it's a bit. All right, this corn is almost ready to harvest too. What I'm probably going to do is we're probably going to separate these crops out. Because it's so much faster for corn and potatoes. Than it is, I mean, sorry, for the carrots and potatoes than it is for corn. That's a crocodile. Where is he? Let me get some more stone here. I'm going to need some more arrows. Like, I need a lot of arrows. I, I do. I go through a lot of arrows. There he is. He's right in front of me. How well does this does this pistol work against a crocodile, I wonder? Okay, I guess. That was like 10 rounds, dude. So much better uh, with a bow than it is with with the pistol. And the, the bow's quiet. I mean, I don't know that, that sound carries uh, in this game for firearms like it does in other games to draw, to draw the NPCs, but... Better safe than sorry. So it's 8.38 p.m., guys. I'm thinking that as soon as it get, turns to be 9 o'clock, I should be able to go to bed. When I wake up in the morning, the 
corn is probably going to be ready to harvest. Oh, look at those berries, man. Those berries just went up. Is this corn ready to harvest? Uh, the berries are, though. Corn, no. Berries, yes. All right, let's go ahead and let's make these into seeds again. Do this again. So carrots. It'll make six more carrot seeds and then potatoes. All right. And then let's go ahead and pick these berries because we're going to turn all this into seeds as well. All of it. Considering how fast this is to grow. Yeah. I mean, like I planted that yesterday. The berries are, take one day. I think berries take one day. I think corn and potatoes take two days. With potatoes being taking, or, or with corn, I mean, carrots taking a little longer than potatoes. And then corn takes either two or three days. Three days. I think it takes three days. So let's go ahead and let's make 96 berries. Let's make all those into seeds. All of them. We're mass producing. Like, I'm as soon as I can, when I, as soon as I have enough stuff to make, as soon as I have enough vegetables and fruit to make more than I need, then I'll let that stuff spoil out so that I have garbage to make more crop plots. You understand where I'm going with this? That's what I'm doing. I'm going to, I got 192 berry seeds, and that right there is enough for almost two crop plots once it spoils out. Should be, anyway. So it should be good. Although surviving for the next couple of days, it's not going to be that big a deal. I've got a full tank of gas. I can go across the way. And oh, look at the shark teeth. I never noticed the shark teeth. By the way, yeah, somebody's saying the Orco is or Orca is the uh, is the boat from Jaws. And it looks like that is the jaw. Those are the the jaws of the um, of the Great White. That's funny. I think his mouth is bigger than that, though. That's cool, though. Are right, these are going to turn into? Seeds, it's going to take a minute for that to happen. Let's go ahead and crash out because it's 928. Let's see if our corn is going to, going to reach maturity. Three vote of seven. And it looks like everything's grown up. So no, not yet. Not yet. But it did plant the other corn first. So let's go up there. How am I? Do I have arrows yet, dude? I've got 20 arrows. We need to make more arrows. Hang on. I'll make 70 more arrows. These 20 will last me until, I, until the 70 are ready. All right, let's go. Hopefully that other corn is good. And I don't know if leaving the area and coming back helps it grow too. It seemed like it grew, those, those berries grew up when I, when I left and came back. So I'm thinking maybe that might be a thing as well. Leaving the area and coming back helps with the growth cycle. There's a, there's a baddie right there. I need all the baddies I can get my hands on because I need levels, dude. I need levels. what I hear? I heard something. But I was talking. Oh, you stop moving there, lady. There she goes. All right. There's another one right there, too. We must have some uh, crops or something, huh? They're guarding the crops because they, they're like, somebody's using our crop plot. Somebody's using our crop plot to make stuff, to grow things. We must protect it. All right. Yeah, corn. Boom. 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 Yes, 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 yes. All right. So all of the now all of this here, guys, is what's going to take longer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm, it's going to be corn we're going to be putting in here, like strictly corn. I'm pretty sure. It'll depend. I'll bring all the seeds up and we'll see how much how much room I've got. But I'm going to put all the corn seed up top. It takes longer, so I won't have to go up there so often. But I'll be able to turn and burn these other veggies and fruits down below a little bit quicker. So that way I can just do it right at the house. I'd rather be doing all my farming down here because then I don't have to go out. I like, I like to just go out just for levels. That's all, I'm gonna, you know, that's all I really care about these baddies for. And they're useful for that, and that's all. Animals to food, and that's all. But once I'm able to farm and garden, then it doesn't really matter. Is this, now is it ready? See, this stuff isn't ready, although it will be by the end of the day, I think. Let's go ahead and let's um, 
circle here. It'll give me 22 corn seed. Cool, cool. All right, we have our carrot seeds. We have our potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and use the spots that we've got right now, and we're going to put down the carrots first. Because those are the fewest that we have. So, and they're small too. They're tiny, tiny. Like they just don't have, they just can't be touching. Actually, I should just go along the, uh, it actually doesn't really matter. It's fine like this. All right, there's all my, ca my carrot seeds. That's all I've got. That's going to be a whole patch of carrots eventually. Eventually, it's going to be a whole patch of carrots. But right now, we're going to have to deal with what we got. And then I got 40 potatoes. So let's see if we can get all these potatoes in here. Well, that last potato, man, it took me forever to find a spot for it. All right, so we don't have... Okay, so this, that corn's not going to plant properly. So we got nine minutes on these berry seeds, and we've got another minute and a half on that. Hopefully these uh, these corn seeds are going to be ready to go in 10 minutes, or this corn is going to be ready to harvest in 10 minutes because I don't really feel like waiting. But there's nothing I can do right now. Oh, we can cook some crocodile. We'll cook some crocodile since I've got some. Um, Rock art, I only have eight. I'm really kind of surprised that it hasn't gone... Huh. I'm really kind of surprised I didn't get more crocodile, considering how many crocodiles I've killed in the past. We'll cook some crocodile up, because that'll be good for us. For right now, anyway. Oh, we got to fire this up, though. Look at that. Six hours on the Jenny, guys. Six hours on the Jenny. All right, so cook crocodile. Cook it. Boom. Four and a half minutes. All right, four and a half minutes. And does it make... Did say six pieces? I guess it was eight pieces. All right, cool. Now, let's see here. I don't think I have any fish. Like, do I have any fish? No, I don't have... I don't know what I did. I must have... Did I cook the fish up? I must have... Didn't think I could cook... Oh, I, I have been cooking the fish up. You know what? I have been when I found it. What a bummer. That's all right, though. I should have kept it. That's all right. I didn't know. It's fine. Now, also over here in the campfire, I can make canned vegetables with one carrot, one potato, and one corn. But I'm not going to do that right now because obviously I needed to reseed all this and I needed to plant the, the seeds back because I don't have nearly enough carrots. Maybe on the next batch I might do a couple of cans of vegetables, but I don't think I'm going to do it right now. All right, we do have some corn that's ready here. Let's go pick that up and we'll get those seeds working. Is that just three pieces? That was my original three. All right, cooked crocodile is done. Let's go ahead and eat one of these 50 protein to pop, dude. Boom. That's so good. That's so good. How long is that going to last, though? Uh, 12 hours. Okay, that's that's nice. We're going to turn this off so we don't forget. Okay, nice, nice. And how's this corn looking? Uh, it's like he's, I think we're about ready. Okay, the last batch isn't quite there. We're getting close, though. All right, with this, I'm going to have 44 corn seeds. I don't know if I can fit 44 corn seeds in one crop plot, guys. I don't know if I can fit 44 corn in one batch. So, and I think 20. Well, we'll see how many we can fit. We'll see how many we can fit corn-wise, and that'll be, the, that'll be the standard by which we go crop by crop by crop because that'll give me an idea of exactly how much I'm going to need because if I if I I only I'm only gonna have like one crop plot for corn, one for berries, and then one for whatever else, okay, or, and one for the potatoes and carrots I think. So I just need to get to know the, what the ratio is to corn to the rest of everything else because corn takes up the most amount of space. So whatever I can fit in one crop plot corn wise, then I'll have to do that for the same amount for the other vegetables. I hope that makes sense for the recipes. So, like, you know, like the canned vegetables, it's one, one, and one, right? I think it's the same for veggies, too. No, it's two, two, and two, right? So, no matter what, however many corn I can put in a crop plot, that's how many potatoes and how many carrots I'm going to have on hand because that way it balances out. So, I might do extra, but I don't think I'm going to do extra. Maybe for some baked potatoes, 
I might have some extra potatoes for baked potatoes. That might be the only thing. Like I can do, or maybe some, well, yeah, that'd probably be it. But I don't think I can do anything. I can make juice, but I'm not going to waste my water on juice. Although, you know, I mean, it, let's see. You get 15 thirst from bottled water. Juice gets you 20 thirst. It's not really that worth that much. It's worth it more. It's worth more to me to make these berries spoil out so I can make more fertilizer. So I can make more crop plots. So, you know, and as I make more crop plots for corn, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double up on my, on my potatoes and my, and my, and my carrots and my berries. Does that make sense? Berries didn't matter. I'll, ma- I'll keep making berries until the cows come home. Cause picking those berries is good, is decent XP, right? So I, no matter whether I use them or not, I should be planting them and picking them every single day because they're super quick to, to, to grow. Speaking of which, these berries right now, they're almost done. 192 berry seeds. Hopefully that corn's done by the time these are finished because I don't want to really mess around too often long more. All right, 192 berries. And we're going to just put that 100 right there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all these in, in here. We're going to see. I'm going to start on this edge and start planting, and then hopefully by the time I get to that corn, it'll be ready to harvest. All right, I was only able to put down 35 berry plants right now, which is really disconcerting because that means I'm probably going to be able to put down maybe 60 or 70 in a in a uh, in a plot, which is fine, I guess. But um, I got a lot more seeds than I have I have room. That's for sure. That tells me this, this little baby a piece of this corn does probably not. I have 20. Okay, okay, I have 28 corn seeds, so we're gonna go ahead and take those up. I don't think I'm gonna have the room. 28 to go into into that farm plot so let's go up top and let's put these 28 down i don't think i'm going to have room for them i just don't i think maybe 20 might be the limit which is cool what is that is it a bear it's a bear let me kill that bear come here big boy I got no baddies around while I'm harvesting. We're saving our meat now. I haven't seen a pig in a while, guys. Like, in a while. So, I'm expecting that I'm going to have to grow my own pigs. Because I, you know, I'm not even going to be able to make meat stew right now without... Well, I need milk anyway, but... Yeah, I haven't seen a cow or a pig in a minute. That might be because I'm I'm getting further further advanced. Oh, that's 28. Uh, I can actually fit like 40. It looks like, which is great. So let's go get the rest of those those corn, because I can play. I can I can plant that many. So I didn't think I was going to be able to fit uh, 28, but totally. I probably can fit probably 50 if I really really squished them in together. But whatever we get, we got six more plants over here, so that's going to be 12 more. I should be able to fit 12 more in there which is going to be 40. So it should be fine. All right, they're not ready yet, guys. I don't know how long it's going to take for this. So we're a little bit off on our timing with the corn, which is okay. It's fine. I'm not really that that worried about it. So we're probably going to go ahead and just wait because uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for this other batch of corn to, go, to grow. I don't remember how long it was between the corn when I found it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming in. Truly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And, hey, if you have any thoughts on the farming side of things, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'd love to hear it. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.